Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the GX M3 Gaming Mouse. This is a mouse from Accessory Power. They were nice enough to send this along, along with a gaming mat we'll take a look at in a moment. But this is a $20 mouse they offer from their website or Amazon, and it's actually pretty nice. I've been using it for a couple weeks on and off, and played around with it, and I really like it. It's pretty simple. It doesn't come with any proprietary software or anything I saw that you could program these buttons with, but you can program them through Windows themselves uh, with no problem whatsoever. You've also got a forward... <clears throat> you've got the normal buttons here. You've also got an adjustment here for DPI settings. So you've got different DPIs for depending on how sensitive you want your mouse. You've got the normal wheel here that clicks. Forward back buttons are what it's set up as, as default, but you can adjust these to what you want. On the bottom, it's an optical mouse, so you've got your little optical sensor. And then if we pop this bottom open, we've got weights in here. So depending on how heavy or how light you want this, you can just dump some of these out here. Pop these out one by one, or all of them, or none. And it gives you a nice feel just how you want it. Let me plug it in here and show you what it looks like. It's got a pretty nice look to it. If I plug it into actually have a Surface Pro 3 I plugged it into, and based on the color is actually the DPI setting. What we have here is green. Green is 2000, so if we go up, we can go up all the way to red and down all the way to blue. So if I go all the way up to red, what we have is the most sensitive setting. It's 2800 DPI. We go down one to purple, we've got 2000. We drop down again, We've got 1200 and then blue is 800. So we've got all of these settings for sensitivity, which is really nice. Just changes the light here as well. So it gives it a little bit different sensitivity as far as the optical sensor and what it can see. Now the, the mouse button themselves, they click pretty loudly. They have a nice click to them. They feel good and they should last without any problem. Uh, it doesn't really give a life that I can see as far as how many clicks you get out of it, but it is a $20 mouse. It feels pretty good in the hand. My hands are pretty large, and you can see it conforms nicely to me. Uh, if you have smaller hands, uh, it'll probably feel even better, but my hands are quite large. You've got these grips on each side, so this is rubberized on both sides, so that's nice, and you can pick it up or hold on to it. You don't really allow it. doesn't really allow it to slip out of your hands very much. And the other thing we've got, too, is a braided cable. Now, this cable is braided all the way down to the other end uh, where it plugs in to the computer with normal USB. So it's really nice, and it works well. Uh, you can use it with gaming or just use it with anything. Uh, a lot of you know that I use Macs as well, and it works fine with a Mac. You just won't get the programmability that you do uh, usually with some Windows things. So it will work for that. It's really nice and sensitive, and I definitely have played around with this uh, sensitivity of the DPI here. I find that for me green works best for day-to-day -day tasks and then you can bump it up when you want to play a game. Now along with this mouse they sent a gaming mat. Now I actually don't use a mouse pad. I use this surface here, this white surface, and it's probably not the best as far as uh, sensitivity goes, but what I have is a gaming mat and this mat is a huge mouse pad basically. Let me set it up and I'll show you. This is the Enhance GX MP2. This comes in at about $20 also, and Accessory Power was nice enough to send all of these along, so I appreciate that before I forget to thank them. But this is 31 and a half inches wide by 13.75 inches tall, so I'm zoomed way out here so I can show you the whole map, or at least most of it. On the right here we just have their design, and then on the left it says enhance and you've got some more designs as well. This is meant to be low resistance. It's also made out of, I believe it's made out of neoprene, at least that's what it feels like. It's rubberized on the bottom to stick and then it's supposed to be low resistance on top. It feels just like a wetsuit if you're not familiar with neoprene. This is meant to be used with a keyboard and a mouse. So you put your keyboard here, you've got your mouse here, and then you can just use it however you'd like. So it's nice and cushy. It has a nice resistance to it. It's, it's not too light, it's not too grippy and you should be able to game on this for hours. It's a really nice idea and comes in pretty inexpensively at about $20. So both of these together, around $40 or so. These seem to be pretty nice to me, but let me know what you think about them in the comments below. Maybe I missed something and you have a question, let me know there as well. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like if you like the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.